IUPUI falls to 0-3 in Horizon League play. The top team in the league in Northern Kentucky visited today and walks out of here with a 55-42 victory. Some things to build on, though, for Matt Crenshaw's team. Greg Reichstraub, Bob Lovell, with your game recap. And for IUPUI, they competed in the entirety of this game. It was an eight-point game in half number one. Chris Austin with the defensive effort. Bob, the offensive star for IUPUI, the two-time Horizon League freshman of the week in Vincent Brady. Getting better and better, Greg, it really is. He's becoming more confident. You see him, he's you know, getting to the rim better, making shots. Uh, again, Austin inside. But you just like how uh, the younger guys are starting to feel a little bit more assertive on the offensive end. I was really impressed with what the Jags did defensively today, especially in that second half. And so you can talk about things you can grow with, build on. I think you continue that effort on the defensive end. Big part of the story for IUPUI were some key absences today. Jalen Counter hurt his ankle in practice yesterday. IUPUI's leading scorer. Both of the Gerard twins out due to injury, as was John Ekbuda. So guys like DJ Jackson who hadn't played since November the 9th. Right. Derek Peterson and Marlon Taylor at the end of your bench all played key minutes. It's why you say, you know what, it was a loss, but there are some things that will carry over for this basketball team. I think you're right. I think one of the big things is that you've got to overcome that, oh, no, here it comes again syndrome with the injuries, and I think they battled through it. You, you, you continue to have great effort on the part of the Jags, and if they'll do that, good things are going to happen. The Jags will not play until the next year. It's okay. It's just two days from now. Wright State will be here on Monday afternoon at 2, and so will we. Be sure to join the broadcast on ESPN+.